everybody what is going on Ruben with Texas Water Fishing I just got a phone call from a friend of mine John John said hey man you want to go catch some bass this afternoon and I've been waiting for June to happen and June is happening in case you don't remember the last time I went and fished at some really big lakes I think like I don't even know how many big I can't remember what, how big they were but they were huge lakes I mean acres and acres of lakes and um, John's like let's go fish again let's go fish again hopefully the bass will be back right now it's like very windy on the coast 20 mile an hour wind gusts just nuts so I've been in the house you know editing and, and getting a lot of stuff done so when John called you know I absolutely so we're all gonna we're also gonna take a little bit of live bait John said to have a have a rod rigged for live not live bait did he say live bait or he said have a lot had a have a rod rig for bait and uh i think we're gonna try and catch some catfish uh so we're gonna be targeting some largemouth bass catfish and um you know there's some gar in there too so maybe a gar trying to stay away from the alligators the alligators are everywhere out here it is a rice field huge rice field i mean big fields a lot of fields a lot of rice so um yeah i'm eager to get out there i'm eager to get going uh gotta hurry up guys but thanks for coming back don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel please go and do so like the video leave a comment all that stuff really helps out the channel try to a lot but yeah thanks guys I don't know. Oh no! Are you on that side? I'm on it. You're 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 on it too over here. It's not jam. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have either you need to drive very straight, or that bridge needs to be very straight. <laughs> What'd you get? What was it? Bad. Uh-uh. Yeah. Holy moly. I knew we were in trouble when you said holy moly. On, what what pound test line is on this? You got him? Hey! Oh wow! Let me see that little guy. Good stocking size. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there's a big one. Oh, you got him? Oh, there's a big one. There's a little one. Look at him. Look at him. Look how cool they look. Yeah. Dang it. Look at that. You got him? Some big bass right there, buddy. Is there? Yeah. You chase it? Yeah. Oh, see him? Nah, I missed him. There you go, there you go. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that color on him. Yeah, that bronze. That is pretty. Things are healthy, too. Oh, fat guy. Oh, reliable. That's a nice guy. There's some more down there. Put this uh, Chicken Boy Lure Bubba Clucker on and... Uh, we were using a gold last time. The water's a little stained, a little dirty. So I put this green on thinking, you know, more natural color, a little darker. Um, gold work, works well, too, uh, for bass. Oh, that was a big bass. That was a big guy. I think that might have been the... It might be a crappie, but that thing was huge. That thing was huge. I've seen him again. This is like the third time I've seen him, I think. Just kind of bounce it on bottom a little bit. So I'm giving a bite. I know the water's draining right here, so they move the water the, the water out of the lakes and they move them into the rice field. So we're kind of just fishing in these little diversionary uh, ditches or drains, if you will. They move the water out of this back lake, and uh, so and there's. You know, nice healthy fish in there. Gators too, so you gotta watch out for those guys. Keep your keep your head on the swivel. And the thing that John was telling me is that bass are like trout. 
they'll bite and spit your hook pretty quick quicker than you can uh, you can set it so you got to be very very quick on that hook set and I'm not I'm not a quick hook setter so I don't fish a lot of fresh water I don't come up from a freshwater background so I think that's what separates a lot of the really good fishermen in my book always kind of start like fresh water so they have those fast reflexes and they're ready for that hook set the big guard right there be ready okay hey somebody was there oh somebody pumped it again you got him you got him you got him you got him uh oh Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's what I'm talking about. As soon as you put it in, get him on the bank. Getting there. <laughs> yeah, it's going in the right direction now. Mm hmm. Nice. There we go. Oh, this is not coming. This is not coming. You got him. This is not coming. Just keep fighting. This was not coming. Oh, oh he split it. One. Oh my gosh, that was like the biggest one I ever had on. That's a big Did one. you see his tail? His yeah. tail was huge. That's a big Oh my gosh, I knew he wasn't coming. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. He just took it. Golly. Isn't it fun with the holes? It is fun. Let's try that one again. That was fun. There was nothing. There was, I didn't have a reel to reel them in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bass right there. He's moving on it. There he goes. I saw him. <laughs> yeah. I saw him moving on it. I saw you, buddy. I saw you. Oh, clucker, green, the green machine. All right, all right. That's a nice little guy, little chunky monkey. We'll put him on this side. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to splash that hard. Scared. You're like, why don't you throw him in your side that hard, Ruben? Come over here, scare off my fish. Oh, that was a big bass. Oh, he that hit it and ran. Big bass. Oh, he hit it and ran. Golly. Oh, That's what we're after right there. yeah. You that was a good one. Tall there. Yeah, are? yeah. Dang it. <laughs> That's oh. what we're after right there. Before I could even react to do anything, he like I say, he was like a trout. You know, it's like so that quick. That's quick. There we go! Got him? Yep. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Oh. <laughs> first, first one with this. Try just, just, <laughs> just, just one to Old Faithful. Old Faithful. My yeah, goodness. That's crazy to me. I need to get me one of these rods and keep put dude on my neighborhood. It's so much fun. Just leave it in my truck. Look at this guy. That's a good one. Right down to the mouth. Look at that. Boop, boop. It's all about the hook sets, ladies and gentlemen. Not really. <laughs> he said himself. <laughs> I said, ooh, I just felt a bump. And then... <laughs> Sure did. There you go, John. <laughs> Good job. Let this guy 
Heck this yeah. is all water fishing. That's it. That's it. All water. All day. Maybe not all the time. Fishing all the time. Maybe not catching all the time. No honey hole. Oh, faithful. They like the, these little lures, man. That's These things are like magic. What kind of lures are these? Crappie lures too? Yeah. Are they like fly lures? Ooh, ooh, that's a big one, John. Yes, he's right there. You see a shadow? Oh, that's a big one. Drop down next to him. Oh, he passed me up. He's coming right to you. Oh my gosh, that'd be a big one. Gosh, that was a big one. Here we go. Yeah, it's a little smaller, but whew, he committed. <laughs> I like it when they don't have commitment issues. That's right. <laughs> He's a little guy, but he's my guy. My guy. There you go. Get back in there. Oh, wow. There you go. Uh-oh. Did you put that, um... Little, little spoon? Oh, okay, yeah. Eight, uh, like a uh, MEPS. Oh, okay. I have some of those. I think I got them like in some little kit. They're good, they're good for uh, small now too. This is so chunky, aren't they? Look at his, look, look at his lip. He got a bubble lip. Mm-hmm. He is chunky. Oh. oh, you got that one. Oh my goodness. I saw that flash. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> That hurt. That hurt. That was a good one. God, that was a good one. That hurt. That was gonna keep me up tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna stay awake thinking about Gar. That was a good one there. Gosh, Gosh. there's a hole right here. Uh, no. It's on your side. Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. <laughs> Is that gator? Gator nest. Is it gator nest? Yeah. No thanks. This is so thick. This is some thick stuff. Oh, wow, yeah. Where you going? Yeah. That was a good one. Ah, I can't believe I missed that bass. Thought he was on for sure. Dang, look at that. Look, you can see right here, look, see? He went all the way down. Yep. And then he is belly. That is belly. Yep. And then in there. Jump in, see if he's still in there, John. Huh? You sure? I thought you were always up for an adventure. I am. We're going this way for an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite direction, huh? Oh, there he is right there. He's really close. What are you doing, buddy? He's looking for John. He went in that. He went in there. Yeah, huh? He went in the cover. Look at that little guy. He's just slowly creeping. What the heck? You're making him come? Dang, he's getting come fast. 
Sean got jokes. <laughs> uh oh, he went under. He's in stealth mode. There he is. He's looking for you. He's looking for you. Oh man. What? He's looking for you, John. What is that? Rice. That's rice? Yeah. Oh wow. Each one of those little kernels, that's a rice. Right there, that's a rice. These are green, so they're not made yet. Okay. So you still got the pollen from the flower. Oh, so that's pollen there, huh? And all these, you know, there'll be like 80 to 100 grains in each one of these little. You can feel, see how it starts laying over? Uh -huh. Then you know the seed's starting to make. Okay. When this will all turn completely yellow on top and they'll all be laid over like that. If they're standing up, it means the blackbirds are taking the seed out of it. Oh, okay. They're lighter. I don't know if you've ever seen that. No, I've never seen that. So how do they pick it? Or what do they, they just mow it down or? They have a cutter, comes uh -huh. along like a sickle. Uh-huh. Cuts it, sorts it, throws the shaft out the back and puts the grain in the top of it. Pull his wings off? Oh no, I just twisted them up. Oh, twisted them up. Yeah. Well, that is going to do it today. You know what? I had a tremendous amount of fun out there with John. John, thank you very much for inviting me out. You know, we fish uh, this area, this private property. It's rice fields, and you have these huge 1,000 acres that feed and drain into the rice fields, and it is great to go out there and fish. It's just fun, you know? I, I don't know what it is, but... um. You know, I'm really digging that crappie pole. It's just, it's it's really silly to me uh, just to use that pole without a reel, but I love it. You know, I was, we, we took, John took some dead shrimp and uh, we were gonna try to fish for maybe some, some catfish, some, because there's some real big catfish out there and maybe I'm getting to a, a few gar. Um, and, I, and I did, I took an extra rod to fish like that. But once I got out there, all I wanted to do was target bass. So hopefully next time, I'll be able to fish and, and, and target some of those those catfish out there. But uh, thanks again. You know, I had a lot of fun. And like John explained to me, that water just started flowing. So as we get closer in or more into the summer, uh, the fish that are all uh, stretched out all over that 1,000 acre lake are going to start congregating more and be closer to, you know, some of their those carp coverts and and where where the water flows and you have that strong current so there'll be more more bass in that area but i did i had a couple of nice ones i had a really nice one he said one of them that i had was probably like six pounds never had one that big so i uh, never had one on my line that bigs before uh largemouth bass so it was nice it would have been nice to get that guy but i kind of panicked i think i pulled too hard that little hook i think it just kind of just came out of his mouth but hey hey quick plug check out saltwater so man the, i just got these shirts from them man these shirts are so nice they feel so soft you know i was telling billy ray of saltwater so like i don't know if i'm gonna want to fish out of it because it feels so good it's so clean you no know, these are real nice real nice clothes that they have uh check them out online if you're in galveston the stop at the stores on 23rd and the strand out there they they have a great selection of gear and decals and hats and shirts and and, and all that stuff so check them out today and again john
Appreciate you, buddy. Give me a call. Whenever you're ready to go, let me know. I'm down. I'll drop everything. It doesn't matter. I'll go try to get some of those little ditch pickles, those greenbacks. But hey, guys, I hope that you had a good time going with me. And hopefully we'll get back out there soon, you know, get a little bit of fresh water and that salt water, Texas all water, you know, kind of deal going on there. But thanks again. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go and do so. Like the video, leave a comment, check out Saltwater Soul. And until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up. Thanks.